Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, and welcome to the next video in our Express series, where now we're going to be talking about serving up static content using Express. So before we start, what is static content, or what is a static file? Well, a static file is a file whose content is exactly the same for each and every request. So in the previous video, when we were using dynamic um, files and templates, it wasn't the same for every request, as what we placed in here basically changed the, the, the display of the file. Well, static files are always the same for every request, and they're typically CSS files, images, scripts, and other files that are sent to the browser when requested without needing to be generated by the server, unlike our pug file, which needed to be um, generated by the server, which basically means it filled in the username, favorite cheese, and all that stuff. But an example of static files is, say um, the style of a website could be dependent on some CSS files whose content doesn't change. So therefore, when the website is requested from a browser, the CSS files are static and served up as is. So we just serve them as static files because they're never going to change. And so the next thing to talk about is where do we serve our static files from? Well, by convention, static files are often stored in a folder titled public. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create another folder. I'm going to call it public. And then this is where we'll house all our static content. So we could have a folder called CSS for our CSS files. We get a one for HTML for our HTML. And this is basically, yeah, where we're going to house all our static content. But to actually serve up static files with Express, we have to use a built-in middleware. And so to that middleware is called, what it is called is express.static. And then inside here, we pass the, the name or the location of where our static content is located, which for us is just the current directory and then public. So now Express will look for all static files inside this public directory. And so real quick, what is this express.static right here? Well, express.static is a middleware for serving static content from an Express application. And we've seen what it takes is a folder location as an argument which tells our Express application where the static content is loaded. And here it is our public folder. And also just real quick as a refresher, as we've seen previously, app.use is used to add global middleware. And we add express.static as a global middleware because for every route accessed, we wanna be able or we wanna have the ability to serve up static content. Now let's demonstrate serving some static content. So what we will do is we'll add an image to our pug file here. Um, let's do it just at the bottom. We're gonna do image, and if we wanna add attributes to an element with pug, what we do is we use parentheses. And then I'm gonna pass in, um, I'll do cookie.png. And so let me add a, another folder in here called images like this. And then what it'll specify is dash images dash cookie.png. And now let me get that file and put it in here real quick. Cool, and now let's go into here. Let's refresh this. And the image is broken, and I believe that's because we didn't actually call it cookie. It's called cookie exchange, which is for a future Express video that I'm gonna be making. But okay, yeah, and it's very big now. But so we can see this is static content because this is an image that's basically going to be the same no matter who visits this profile. So say we do users dash wit code, we get wit code's profile, and this is still served up here. Say we do um, fill, it's always the same. It's just static content. And then let me go in here and just note that as we have told our Express um, application um, that our static files are located inside this public folder, we don't have to pass, we pass in everything rel, um, relative to this public folder. So for example, we just do dash images, dash cookie exchange. We don't have to do dash um, public or anything like that. And now something cool to mention is that anything placed inside our public folder, so inside this folder here, can also be accessed with a URL. So say we go in here and then we just type in cookie exchange.png. We're sorry, it wouldn't be that. It would be 
images dash cookies change up png we can see we get our static content served up and of course this could be done with other files for example we had like a soccer.js file in our public directory we could access it by image or it'd probably be in javascript so maybe js dash soccer.js and like that and also note how once again the static directory public is omitted and this is because express looks up the files relative to the static directory which we registered as dash public. And now let's talk about the um, ability, or let's talk about having multiple static directories. So more than just public here. So we can have more than one static directory with Express. So in other words, we can have one directory besides public to house our static content. And to do this, all we would have to do is just call this again. So app.use and say we had another folder called public too. That is all we would have to do. So then we would just create another folder called public2 and place static content in there. And now what would happen is say we looked up a static file, Express will first look in the, in the static directory look, linked first. So in here, when we type in images cookie exchange.png, well, if we, or when we type that in, Express will first look in this public folder, and if it can't find it, it'll go and look in public2. That's just something you can note, you don't have to just have one. But now let's talk about something interesting, and it is um, a virtual prefix. So when we were searching for our static files in our URL bar, like right here, like this, we were excluding the name of the directory that houses our static content. For example, we were just searching for images cookieschange.png, as opposed to, say, public, like this. However, we can actually append a virtual prefix if we want. So if we want to say we wanted this, all this stuff to be accessed at static dash images and all this, what we need to do is we just go to this app.use function and we pass in dash static and now it will be appended as a virtual prefix. So now if we just loaded this again, we don't get anything. But if we do static dash images, we can see it's located here. So this just adds a virtual prefix. And now one final thing I want to talk about that I mentioned briefly or touched on briefly in a previous video was specifying an absolute path versus a relative path here. So throughout this, our, throughout this video, we have been specifying the path to our static content relatively. So we're just, we're just specifying dot dash public. However, the path we provide to express dot static is relative to the directory where we launch the node process. So because of this, specifying a relative path could cause some issues if we ran our Express application from a different directory. So to get around this, we can specify the absolute path to the directory that we want to serve. And an absolute path is essentially all the details needed to locate a resource. So there's no shortcuts. It's every single folder that you have to go through and all that. So at the top of our file, file here, we've already required the path module. And this path module is a global module that makes interacting with file paths simpler. And now similar to in our previous video, we're going to use the path.join method. And then we're going to specify underscore dir name and then public like this. And this will get the absolute path of to our public folder. So dir name specifically is a node environment variable that tells us the absolute path to the directory containing the file and containing the current file we're in, so this index.js file. And then path.join joins the specified path to the second argument. And these two together will provide the absolute path on our machine to the public folder. But so there we have it. That's all there is to serving static content with Express. Um, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. In the next video, we're going to be going over, I believe, HTML forms, so handling post data and stuff like that. So look forward to seeing then. But um, besides that, just have a good one. See you in the next one.